I keep on getting error messages. I don't know what's going on. Oh my goodness. It's true. It actually worked. All these devices are now connected to my Amber without me doing a thing. Alexa, turn on Chloe. Sorry, the cleanup. No way. By the way, if you want to see all my videos about the Amber Pro NAS and just type in Chris Viral Amber Pro NAS in the YouTube search, hit enter and you will find tons and tons of videos. Initiating. Welcome back. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose one day, one step. In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog, it is Thursday in our day, in our chance to push out and the topic for this vlog is the setup and the demo of the Amber Pro and NAS, so let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews are right here, watch them all, but before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers, thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max, so let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. So, in my last vlog, you can check it right here, I talked about the specs, features and my first impressions, and now, let's get to the setup and to a little demo back to back, let's go. Turning it on for the first time. Oh yeah, right there. And where was this power button again? Oh yeah. Ooh, look at it. Nicely diffused light up here. Well, it works. Great. <laughs> Let's set it up. And for this, I will use this card. So as you can see, we need to download two apps. Ethernet cable. Blue port. There it is. So as you can see, there is a QR code on the bottom of the thing. Maybe you don't want to do this while it's on. These are HDDs. They don't like impacts. Boom. LW is the SSID. Admin1234 was the password that I just saw. But there is something else right here. No, it's the wrong password. You need to use a password that's actually written right there. Yeah, this clearly worked. Nice. Let's go back to the app. Already connected. Okay. Allow while using the app and yes, that's the thing, setting up the internet connection. It worked out, so let's continue to the setup. Agree to the policy, Amber OS, okay, press install. This may take up to 10 minutes, okay, I will see you in a bit. This thing beeped a few times by now. Amber device account, I thought I have to set the password right now, but actually, I actually need to log in. Admin1234, let's see, and it worked, nice. How would you like to name your Amber? Just Amber, oh, eight characters, that's better. Like the video if you get the reference. It's creating storage volume, I can hear the HDDs moving their heads, a lot actually. Ooh, okay, it will actually notify you to not close the app during this process. It may take up to three minutes. By the way, down here you can see what it's currently doing. So at least that's a bit of a... Oh, there we go. Okay, now I have to set the password. And now I need to sign up for a new Lettuce Nest ID. Okay, after that, you need to validate your mail with a code. It's already activated. Please go back and use login. Okay, um, well, so let's log in. Cloud pairing has been finished already. It's beeped again. Nice. It's blue now. Okay, so I don't know what that was, but as you saw, even though there was an error, <laughs> everything just worked out fine. And now I need to download the Ember Live app to access my hybrid cloud storage. In here, I can do the router management and also do the storage management. Okay, I keep on getting error messages. I don't know what's going on. I just tried to log in. Anyways, I will just, I will. Restarting the app always helps. Uh, I just decided that I will for now proceed. So let this work. Publisher, easiest way to find the other apps and there is only one other app, Amber Life. Let's get it. Okay, so funny enough, the whole time I was connected to the NAS actually and yeah, I was able to download the app. So that already worked out fine. I will allow this app of course and let's sign in. I really like the color scheme of the of this app. It looks amazing. Is this dark mode? I don't know. It looks awesome. Okay, so to access the files, you will only need this app and you can also share it, explore it, backup, everything. Okay, you can do the camera roll backup. You can do the file browsing. You can do the sharing and that's it. So that was my my what, part of my crypto portfolio. Well, if you're a regular viewer, you will already know that, of course. Anyways, right here it says camera roll backup. It's, it's deactivated. So I, I just press the cloud symbol and... I think I have to restart it. Amber Life, here we go again. So something clearly isn't right yet, but if you press here, you can access the phone. This is the cloud and you can also share. Oh, that's a shared folder. And yeah, seems like I have more more stuff to do. Let's go back into the, into the manager. See you in a bit, I guess. Okay, so I can access the NAS. I can go to the router, but I 
just can't log in to my lettuce ID, lettuce nest ID. I tried this like 10 times by now and log in again. And it always gives me this error message right here. Hmm. So when you click on the router symbol, you also have to enter the admin 1234 password. Then you will see this, all the router settings. There is a new version available. Download and install. As you can see, this will require a reboot. And we're back. Router password. Whoops, there was something else. Yeah, I will change that. All right, that's done as well. I want to change the Wi-Fi name. Oh, it's right there, of course. Or is it? Can I access this wireless? Oh, yeah. All right, there it is. So that's done as well. Router is all set up, but I haven't resolved the storage issue yet. I will get to that later. Moving on, as you can see here, storage IP, that's it and let's go to the chrome explorer let's type in that storage ip and i would strongly recommend that you go to the settings and then click desktop site this will look way and work just way better settings desktop site otherwise the layout is just messed up doing this on the phone is obviously kind of stupid but it does work like right here i can access basically everything it's a pain but you can do this on your phone as well. You will need to access the NAS itself for installing more amazing software. So let's get right to it. What I already did was find the names of the Nighthawk Wi-Fi, write those down and I will now go to the, to the Ember Manager and I will now type in the same names with the same password actually. All right, that's better. Let's go to m1.login.com. Oh yeah, I'm not connected. m1login.net. Okay, that's better. So I'm now connected to the Nighthawk. Okay, these are all the connected devices. Okay, it's in the setup and then it's in the Wi-Fi profiles. And there you can turn off the Wi-Fi. Dual band, 5 gigahertz, 2.4. Actually, that's the correct one and let's apply it. Boom. Ethernet standby. I think I should disable that. I just did a bit of reading and this seems to be a good idea in any case. So let's see. All right, so I'm already connected. Maybe all the other devices will automatically connect when the names and everything is just the same. Yeah, I'm connected to the NAS. Okay, I'm still not connected to this. I mean, check this out. Failed to set the cloud account, but I'm in contact with the support. Router, boom. All right, so looking good to me. Okay, so I can see the connected devices here. So I guess I need to go to the storage IP once again. And as always go to desktop site. Router, oh yeah, this is looking, this is looking nice. Oh my goodness, check this out. It's true, it actually worked. All these devices are now connected to my Ember without me doing a thing. Same Wi-Fi name, same password. That is amazing. Alexa, turn on Chloe. Sorry, the cleanup. No way. Alexa, turn off Chloe. That is amazing. So this is it, the Amber OS on a laptop, not on a phone, that is. And now I will just show you everything that there is. So you have the file explorer right here. And this will also give you a, a run through, a walkthrough. Nice. Then we have the control panel. And by the way, this will open new windows and you have to close them. So then let's go to the control panel again. So we have the dashboard with a task manager. Basically, you can see the CPU and the memory usage. Then you can edit the users. You can create groups and it's a shared folder. Then we can check the storage. We can check the disks. And yes, you can replace them with bigger ones, even SSDs. Talk to the support about that. They just need to be the same size, same disk, basically. It's highly likely that I will exchange them to 10 terabyte drives, SSDs, of course one day but for now it's fine volume right here oh my goodness my laptop Gee, please chill it's all fine I know I know okay so let's dial in that time zone here we go let's apply oh you need to reboot okay <laughs> interesting why but okay okay we're back I just heard the beep let's log in again all right, back to the control panel. We changed the time zone, now it's correct. Hardware, oh, let's go. You can actually turn off the brightness of the LED. Let's apply that. That's looking like a good level to me. Enable night mode during this time will dim the LED. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good to me. And as you can see right here, you can activate support for an external XFET drive. Moving on. Indexing service. There's also the face recognition plugin file indexing photo indexer. We have the system log right here We can check for firmware upgrades Factory reset 
remote support and we have the Amber Pro. We will get to that in a bit in detail. This is where it gets amazing. Let's check the network, LAN, security and remote access again right here. You can set it up right here. Okay, we have the backup tool, time machine, resync server, snapshot resync tasks. There is a lot. It's a fully fledged NAS, that's for sure. Remote replication, snapshot restore and the time machine right here. That's the router. This will open up a separate window. If you want to know more about the router, then check out this dedicated review right here. And lastly, the Amber Finder. I only have this one, so I won't need this. But if you have more than that, well, that's the place where you can find your other Ambers. That's the Amber OS. Let's get to the awesome stuff. Well, their app on its own is already awesome, but they're not limiting this NAS to only their services. No, they made this available for open source projects. Massive props to them. Let's get right to it. So in here in the Ember OS, we go to the control panel and then we're going to the Ember Pro section in the system right here. So this is currently in development. As you can see now, you need to have caution. And this is also a reason why it's called Ember Pro. This is for the pros out there. But what I've heard is that they're working on user friendliness and this will be as easy to use as their app one day. But for now you have to click here. You need to install this. All right, here we go. Current version is 1.3.3. Let's close it. And as you can see right here, there is something new. Ember Pro. Let's click on this thing. Let's open it up. They will let you use Docker containers. And this is also the reason why they chose the Intel platform because there are just way more applications available on the Intel platform. That's the dashboard. Here is a list of your containers, images, folders, networks, the logs and also subscription services. I see, I see. So as you saw, I had problems with the pairing of my Amber Nest, well, of the Lattice Nest account. Short side note here, two side notes actually. First of all, I was able to resolve this issue in the Amber OS. And secondly, this account is now called Amber Life account. Uh, the name is different now. This is still a project in development. So they're still refining the app, the software, everything. So that's great as well. And literally every month it gets better. So you probably won't have even have the same issue. So yeah, pretty dope, pretty dope. In my next vlog, you can check it out right here. I will give the Wi-Fi router a dedicated review. So if you want to know more about the Wi-Fi, about the router capabilities, then check out this vlog right here. Guess I will see you there because that's it for this one. Smash the like button the way the Ember OS smash this pairing issue. Bang the bell like pa, to never miss product reviews. Yes, and check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.